We're Glass Sounds, and this is our sound on tap. This song's called Rush. It's been like about a year, year and a half. Uh, we've been running together and writing better music now. Obviously when we started it was it was a little bit different, you know, it was a little bit rough around the edges, but we're we're creating a sound that, that we finally enjoy and, and like. So we're essentially finding ourselves at the moment. Um, as soon as he sent me all the music, I really dig the style, you know, it's something that I Never really played, I would you know, listen to, but um, once I got the, the opportunity to do so, I learned the songs, I went to them. That's when actually, you know, more or less around the same time, Mikey more, uh, was in the band. 
And I think that was it. Uh, we, you know, it sparked it off. They liked it. I was actually more concerned about Eddie. Eddie, as you can see, he's very like a cool cucumber. So yeah, he wasn't saying anything to the, the, uh, during their whole practice. You know, everybody else was, but he was very like. Ah. At the end, he was like, "Sorry, man, you actually did very, very good. A few pointers, but other than that." <laughs> and I was like, "Oh my god, dude! Like, you know, it's it was it was a really good experience. And after that, it was um, you know kind of the start of a really really good friendship. Like everybody was saying, we all come from different styles of playing. You know, we all uh, leaders. So sometimes it's a little we, we butt heads. But once we actually come in accordance, everything. Yeah. You know, beautiful music. Beautiful uh, music. Diamond." Create under pressure, and we just live for that pressure. <laughs> Chef's kiss. Yeah, live under <laughs> pressure. Yeah. <laughs> So now that the world is opening back up, you know, the pandemic's 
it's not over, but um, it's coming to, it's a little bit easier to go out. Um, we actually just brought in our friend, his name is Manny. He actually set up this thing for us. And he's looking for shows for us like South by Southwest, right? We were supposed to play that 2020, got canceled obviously. Um, and just to create a better, um, a better opportunity for us, right? Instead of us looking for the shows. So we're more than excited to hit the road, um, really start playing festivals or anything like that. We actually haven't played a lot of crazy stuff together as the band, just because we were looking for a sound, right? Essentially for us, it was important to find um, our roots and what we're gonna base this band off of, so that when we do that, we could actually give a show instead of just playing music essentially, right? Which is what we do. We root everything um, from how we tune our music, how we create our music, how we start writing. I mean, we, we got down to how we tuned it, right? Everything generally is tuned to 444, I mean 440. And we decided, you know, we're gonna change it up a little bit. Let's tune to 444, right? It makes sense with the body and kind of how we're created, right? With the earth, it resonates better with the, with the brain. Just like when you go to a live show, you know, you go to a live show because it creates chemicals in your head and you feel amazing. So we're trying to do that through a record. Right, essentially. So we're definitely excited to, to hit the road and, and finally showcase um, a little bit of what we got. You know, that's it, it's not our final form yet, but I think we're getting there.
So yes, the, um, the meaning to the name Glass Towns. I mean, we were all emo once, <laughs> right? Once upon a time, we were all rooted from emo roots. Uh, for me, it was something really corny, but um, I felt like it meant something to me at the time, and it, and it still kind of does. So, Glass Towns originates from, you know, everybody. You, we live in a city or a town, essentially, right? We live in a civilization, and everybody doesn't matter how hard you are or how crazy of a leader you are I mean you have those breakdowns everybody's made of glass so for me at least this band is where I can be very vulnerable and express what I've been going through my emotions or anything that I've lived I write because I'm really bad at expressing stuff so I sometimes break we're like glass so we are a glass town essentially right everybody breaks everybody's in a town so that that's basically what it means for me it's it's a place where we can be vulnerable and really come together to, you know, enjoy something without having to prove ourselves about anything. So that's that's the glass town. And I also think also just the whole idea of transparency about being in a community and being vulnerable and you know everyone, um, you know, we all go through the same thing, the the same struggles. So I think it's a it's an amazing name for people to understand that like at the end of the day we're all united, you know, everyone we live as one in a sense so the whole idea of transparency She said 
we want to give the listener an experience that you know maybe they wouldn't get with somebody else, right? So that for them to remember us, like the red shoelace effect, they know who Glass Town is. All of us were very individualistic, but you're very united in the same way where it's just like we have our own personalities, but somehow it definitely comes together. So that's how I ended up playing with these guys. When we started playing as a band, everybody had their own parts and everybody tried to shine. And same thing during the pandemic, we, we realized, you know what? It's more about each individual song as itself rather than, hey, I'm gonna display my talent and really show what I can do. So we learned and we're still in the process of learning how to create this solid song to where it sounds good for the audience and not individually as a musician. Are you rolling? We got one more song for you guys. This one's called Sugar Glide. Close off the night. Sound on top. Or glass sounds.
Last Towns, thank you, Sound on Tap, for having us. Good night.